Hey, this is Big Gene from Raw Deal, The Last Big Night, cooking in conversation. Uh, I was supposed to cook on Thursday, but that was the anniversary of my mother's death. So um, I went out to dinner uh, and I just chilled and called my brothers and, you know, we just kicked it about mom. I got the YouTube going and the Instagram at the same time for those who can't get to the YouTube. Taj, what's going on? Uh, Y'all heard the title today, Big's Murder Exposed When Right Goes Wrong. When right goes wrong. When right goes wrong. You know, a lot of times, you know, you get tired of people, you know, on they bullshit. So I'm going to show that Big Gene could be on they bullshit with facts, with facts. Um, you know, I don't go looking for shit, bro. Uh, when people send me things, I take a look at it if I have time. And somebody sent me um, a clipping of TJ, TK Kirkland saying he used to roommate with Zip. And that on Vlad, he said that uh, Zip got 500000 for uh, Pac's death and was supposedly got it from Puff or whatever like that. And if you would have listened to the tape, TJ Kirk, uh, TK Kirkland, the first thing he said was, I heard, I heard. That means he didn't see a check. That means that he don't know for sure. He said he heard. And I don't know what makes Vlad to supposed to be the Bible what's happening in the streets, but I'm going to talk about this, bro. And I'm talking about this for a reason. Because Big's murders would be exposed. Because right went wrong. Some of y'all a little slow. So let me just say this. Big's murder would be exposed when right goes wrong. You know? always want to jump and, and put my name in the middle of something with those, you know, with those other kick, those other guys, bro, me and you had general conversations. I, you got some good dudes behind you. I know a few and I've talked to a couple of them and they was trying to get us, you know, to have a conversation once you come home, but we can't have no conversation, bro. You ain't looking for that. You know, you want to be on your bullshit. I can get on my bullshit. It's whatever. I'm not going to sleep. I know don't nothing beats an ambush. I got the same kind of background that you had, bro. You know, you may have had your parents in the house. I got to know my parents at a at a at a at an older age. You know, when I got 12 and 16, I learned my parents, but they were good people. You understand? I had good people to make sure that I went to college. I played ball. I became an officer and everything, but I didn't go wrong in that aspect. All right. But let's get on to what I'm talking about. And, you know, I don't know if your video is buffering. Somebody's telling me their video is buffering. I don't know what's going on. But I'm a, I'm I'm gonna get through this because I'm I'm like tired of this, and I'm just gonna let people really know what the deal is, what the deal is when right goes wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Check this out. I knew Eric Von Zip very well. I mean, very well. My man could call him up. My brother could call him up, and Zip would be right on the block. We gave block parties together. We gave situ parties. We we did. We we hung out with him and Mike Tyson together. We was at Zip House with Mike Tyson. 
Zip would come to our block and my man be feeding the whole block, all the crews and everything. And I'd be down there cooking and everything. Like, and they'd be like, yo, Gene, yo, who cooked this? They like, yo, Gene cooked that shit. He back there cooking now. My man had a brownstone. We was doing our thing in there. Zip would come by, get a plate. Every time Zip get a brand new whip, he'll bring it to the block. And Zip ain't never had to have no roommate. So a nigga may have been staying in Zip's house, but Zip was never no roommate. A roommate is when you busting down everything, all the bills and everything. That's your roommate. And Zip ain't never had nobody. And I knew Zip over 20 something years, all the way up until he died. I worked at his club in the whole nine yards. And I know how slick he could be. I knew some of the slimy shit he was doing. And I knew some of the, you know, the, the positive things he was doing. Zip would do, Zip would take a, we'll go to the, we'll have a, we'll be in the club. And Zip was like, yo, Gene, take me to the manager. And I would take Zip to the manager. And Zip would tell the manager, yo, I need 20 bottles of Moet, five bottles of Hennessy. Five bottles of Grey Goose, uh, and uh, he might get uh, some Alizé or some shit like that, one or two bottles or something like that. You know what I'm saying? He'll say, yo, what you going to charge me for that? And pay the manager right off, but he'll pay him. Like if the bottle was $250, Zip might give him a buck fifty for the bottle. And then he'll go out there in front of all the dudes that's with him. Yo, we about to get 20 bottles. We about to get five bottles in me, five bottles. Y'all put it up. <laughs> and niggas would be putting up like a G, two Gs, a piece or whatever. You understand? And he, he already got the discount for the bottles and everything. I used to just be laughing at niggas. It was crazy. Zip, the type of dude, if you at the club and you working for him and two or three ballers come in there and may give you two or $300 to, you know, look out for them, he don't want to pay you at the end of the night because you got money from niggas from the club. Like, what? That's the kind of shit and slick shit he would do. That stopped me from working for him. And the next week he got shot in the stomach because I wasn't there. Because if I was there, it wouldn't have never happened. And he knew that. He said that himself. Anyway. Zip never needed a roommate. Now, T.K. Kirkland may have been staying with him, living with him, but roommate, nah. Zip, Zip had mansions out here in, in Jersey with 75 cars sitting on it. Not seven plus five. He had 75 cars sitting on it. Play if you want to play. Come on, Dash, with that bullshit, man. Yeah, Zip, Zip takes some money and not pay. No, he wouldn't pay you if he owed you. Yeah, he was that type of dude, if he could do it. But that's a whole different situation. And I'm going to tell you about that situation, but it won't be today. It ain't, it, this ain't nothing about he taking $500,000. Because when I trust you, when I say I saw a check, and I saw the person who had the check, and I will tell you that when I get good and damn ready. This ain't about that. This is about motherfucker always talking about some conspiracy theories and, 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 and putting a nigga name in their mouth. Nigga, I ain't, ain't nothing conspire. Ain't, I ain't gonna never conspire against nothing. It's either you get it like it is or fuck you and feed you beans. And Cash, I'm telling you right now, I don't give a shit if this shit get monetized or what. That's you gotta beat this out or bop that out or whatever. Now, for somebody to say they heard, they heard means they don't know for sure. They don't know for sure. They heard. 
but I've said this a thousand times and, and play it. Put, really look at it, man. Look, really look at it. If anybody going to do something illegal, especially go to a top-notch vibe party where they know that other security personnel, there may be law enforcement are around. They know other security person that may have guns may be around. When they know cops may be around, for them to take a major hit and kill somebody, they may have some law enforcement background or knew they could get away with this shit. They knew they could get away with this shit. And the people who worked that party, because they were, it was given by Khadijah, I think her name Candace, or Khadijah Quincy Jones' daughter. Where should she get the security from? She would get the security from from the people that she knew. And that security was Reggie Rice's security. Most of his security was working there. They seen that. The same people who was working for death row was at that party. Let me just take a, a, a minute to uh, shout out my man. I got his shirt on. I don't know how much y'all can see this. Let me bring this down a little bit right here. That's the Real World Podcast. That's the Real World Podcast. Where the world history impacts real life. My man Rel is doing this podcast. You understand? Shout out to the Real World Pack Podcast for this uh, mean ass jersey. I'm going to be rocking this winter. <laughs> Y'all go look at this shit, man. The Real World Podcast. Let me go over here. So now, the FBI already said former death row, hold on, former death row security that was cops was seen there. Former death row cops who were security was seen there. And I want to get on another thing too. Let me write this down. I'm going to come back to this. When people have to lie about shit, that means they got something to hide. They got a whole lot of shit to hide. Big murders will be exposed because right went wrong. Reggie Wright. Reggie Wright, who just did time, about to come home. I already said it on a uh, bomb. Uh, what is it? A uh, bomb, 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 a bomb, 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 a bomb first, whatever the, the shit they say it on. Just said it. He he be home in October. He be home in October. So he just got through saying that all the conspiracy theories, Gene Deal and the rest of them and stuff like that, uh, conspiracy theory. Ain't no conspiracy theory, man. When all the ex death row cops who was doing security for death row who work for you. You was over death row security bringing the cops in. Were there. And you and I both know I was on point. I may have gotten wrong the fact that they was there to kill Puff at first but end up killing Big. But when you said out your mouth, fuck that fat fucker, that shows you ain't give a fuck about Big. I never said that about Pac. Even though I may have thought Pac was wrong on certain shit, that was a kid. That was somebody child. When you said that shit about Big, I knew right then and there. You ain't like him, bro. And you ain't give a fuck. Now, that's cool in the game. That's all right. When you told that lie, when I sit up there and told you that 
That wasn't Keefe D. You were steady trying to put Keefe D in this shit. I said, yo, bro, that wasn't Keefe D at Soul Train. I said, that was, that was, that was Gutter who pulled that gun on Shug. Nah, I don't know what Gene Deal talking about. Fuck what Gene Deal talking about. Then Gutter came out. When he came out of jail, see, all these jail guys is coming out. And Gutter said himself at Soul Train, I was the one pulling my gun out on her. And then Gutter started talking about my man. Talking about how my man was like, no, no, no. He's trying to defuse the situation. You tried to make people think it was me. It wasn't me, bro. Cause tell me, I'm going to tell you one thing. Niggas who know me and people who know me as a man and people know who ain't doing that sex security guard, I'm, I can be just as grimy as your motherfucking ass, Red. Your man them tell you about, they told me you was about that bullshit. Your own people told me you was about that bullshit. And I know people that was close to you too. You just don't know I know. And our relationship, and they ain't going to tell you about our relationship because they out there in Cali. They told me you about that bullshit. And I believe that. I believe that. Because you could hide behind the shield like a lot of dudes do. I ain't never hide behind mine. I ain't never hide behind mines as a man. I ain't never want to be no drug dealer. I ain't never want to be no hustler in the street like that. Then I work two or three jobs, go from one job to the next. But I ain't never want to do none of that shit. I wasn't going to let motherfuckers, them, I wasn't going to let them white boys make us look bad as being officers. Because when one of us lock, get locked up for selling drugs, for one of us get locked up, for doing something, it makes everybody who black the carry a shield look bad. Because they don't think we're supposed to have one in the first place. Big murder would be exposed when right, get, when right goes wrong. You knew those guys there, Reggie. Tell it. You told the fact that Poochie Suge Knight is in the book. Go to murder rap. You tell people go to murder rap. Go to murder rap. It's in the book that you told Greg Caden that Suge Knight bought Poochie an Apollo. And Suge was supposed to be your man. If Suge bought Poochie an Impala, why would you tell a cop that your man bought him a, uh, the, the killer a big Allegedly, uh, in power. Mm. Mm. It's in the book. He put that in the book, Cracker on Curtain. Nothing about you, me, or anybody look like you or got your last name. Let's keep it 100, Reg. Want to keep it 100? You knew every last one of those guys that were there. And you knew why they was there. To kill Puck. Big was a casualty of me being on top of my motherfucking game. And I got to live with that. But I'll take that. I was puff bodyguard. When that nigga looked me in my face, a mirror looked me in my motherfucking face, he said, I got to die if I pull out this gun. Because he knew my shit was already out. Don't play, boy. You already know. You going to see this. Your bomb first niggas going to be all on the internet doing all this other bullshit. But we know. We know. Yo, yo, dog, you ain't fooling nobody. You never fool nobody. Keep your enemies close and your friends closer. I know. And you know too, boy. It was a lot of deals out there being made in California. It was a lot of deals being out there being made. Everybody want to point to Keefe D. Yo, listen here. 
This is the Compton Crip that was close to Puff. You see that little nigga in the blue right there? D-Mac. He was the one setting up every time you see a lot of uh, uh, Crips at the parties. It was him. All that shit that was talking about who will do what and what to do what. That night at Andre Harrell house, when I said, yo, these niggas is coming to get us, that little nigga right there in the blue said, we lock and load together. I said, I don't see none of you niggas locking and I don't see none of you niggas loading. That's the nigga be stopping off, be bringing up all the shit. Putting all the shit together. Having all the crips there. Kiwi D ain't fuck with Puff like that. He fuck with Zip. That was Zip Man. Mr. Ro Rotan, I ain't seen no fucking comment. If I'm suspect, your mama is too. I'm going like that today. Raw diggity dog. All up in you. I ain't looking at no comment. I'm getting this off right now. Now, if you want to stay here and then come back around, nigga, I'll be up on top of it. You ain't heard me call out nobody name. You ain't heard me look at no what you call. You ain't heard me look at no fucking uh uh no cash app, no, no, uh, no, no super chat, none of that. I just seen her you, yeah. I got your suspect. Come see me. Come see me. Tired of you old clown ass internet motherfuckers. For real, for real. Ladies, apologize. You don't need to be on here. It's too much other shit going on in the world. Well, all these niggas trying to throw all this shame in this game and all this bullshit up. Man, Notorious Big was set up by cops. He was killed by cop, hey, rogue ass cops that work for motherfucking uh 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 uh, uh, uh um whatever that security firm that uh uh, Suge Knight had running this shit. Reggie Wright, the right shit, right way or whatever it is. I know it. People around there know it. And that's what it was. Big was a casualty of them motherfuckers missing Puff. That's all it was. Now, the other niggas who wanted to get big, they would have got us if we went up in them hills. That's why Chaz was coming down to the fucking party to tell us. To try to stop us from going up there. To Steve Stout's house. Because they didn't feel like they could get it done down there. Big is dead because right went wrong. You ain't just start being a bad motherfucker cop. You a gangster now, dog. You done went to jail and everything. Keep my name out your mouth. You done went to jail and there. You a gangster now, bro. You understand? You 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 all what you want to be. Everything that your parents worked hard for to go to send you to school. You a gangster now. You a gangster now. You been wanting to be a gangster or a prankster. You about it? I'm about it about it, though. I ain't worried about none of this shit. Now I'm finna look. So if I see your comment, I'll say something. I've been on this shit for 24 I'm going to look right now. I still got more. D Money. Yeah, I understand that, D. All right, Bo, thanks for being out there for me. Rashad, sure, yeah, these niggas is pranksters out here, man. For real, for real. 
I was around the best of them. I was around the best that ever did it. I was around the best that ever did it. And I knew how to say, yo, listen to me, man. I'm out. Now, if it was about some other shit, when it came to drug dealing and all that shit, like, I'm out, bro. See you later. But well, ain't nobody gonna come up in our block and do nothing wrong, shoot it up and go beat up no old ladies and all that shit. Like, nah, you could work that with you. Any old lady will tell you, they could walk down 12th, 112th Street and knew wasn't nothing gonna happen to them. Avon. Yeah. Man, these guys took all kinds of deals. The police gave these niggas all kinds of deals, you know, for Big's death, man. All kinds of deals. Marty, what up? Same game. I'm trying to look for some of these motherfuckers out and running from their comment. Nigga, I ain't running from no comment. Nigga, what you going to comment going to kill me over here? Now, I'm going to look at the comment, then I'm going to go. Because I, let me get out of here. Lamont, let me just tell you something. That's what the dude from Compton Cop said. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go look at the Compton Cop dude, man. For real. Brian Brown, what's going on? I'm trying to see this guy's comment. One of my moderators, if y'all see that Ryan dude comment, shoot it back to me so I can see it. Let me see what's up. Blacksmith, what's going on? Hello, hello. Rose Solo. Antoine Faulkner, how you doing, Mr. Faulkner? I ain't seen you in a minute. Hold on. Let me just let, let, uh, let me let me let me just do this right. Come on, Jason, you wrong, man. First of all. Sugar ain't have no reason to order no hit on on, on, on on big. And that and that's real. And that's real talk. Now, you know what I'm saying? That nigga that I showed y'all would say dumb shit around Puff. Man, I got niggas that take care of them, man. I got niggas, my niggas is my niggas see them all the time. That little nigga would say dumb shit like that. I never heard Keefy D talk like that. I never heard Zip talk like that. That little dumb nigga will say shit like that around Puff. Yo, my niggas this, my niggas that. They'll do this and they'll do that. End up working for Sean John. Come on, man. And let me just say this. I don't know if it was his drive and his manager. He said that Somebody sent me something again talking about uh, the police wanted to speak to uh, DJ Quick because he came because he was running from the scene uh, when Big got killed. That's a lie and a fucking truth thing in him. I stood there on the wall and watched that that DJ Quick when he said, because I went back, when me and Tone came back, I went straight down there to the parking lot to see where the people was gathering at. They wasn't down there by the car. They was down in the parking lot just to see if I heard what somebody saying. Because that's what investigators, that's what cops, that's what niggas who know do. Because people always come back to the scene or somebody always at the scene and around there that know something. And when he was on that phone talking, he said, yo, I think they got one of them niggas from Bad Boy. They said they was going to get them niggas from Bad Boy. They said. Now, 
He wasn't running from the scene. He was right there in the middle of the parking lot. Then Paul come and grab me, yo, Gene, Gene, let's go. He looked at me and I looked at him. So all that shit that he running from the parking lot, that's why the cops wanted to talk, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Why Quick had to lie about that? Or his people's name. And still, who is they? Quick, who's those niggas that said that? Who they said they was going to get them? Now, I know when you go on a war, if you can't get the king or the queen, you might get the motherfucking prince or the princess or anybody around that would have some substance to. That's all a possibility. Northern Lights, I just said what he said. No, nah, he didn't die the same night he shot the hypnotized video, man. My thing of it is, talk about that. Talk about the FBI report that seen the same cops that worked for right way security. I think somebody told me right way security. No, Machiavelli, uh, uh, Machiavelli Jr., no, he stole that shit from D. Ferg and, and Tone Wapnem. Yes, he did. You ain't bugging uh, Machiavelli Jr. That was the same game, Dan, that he was doing. Anyway, off the subject. <laughs> Just didn't want to seem like he was bugging Machiavelli Jr. <laughs> anyway, the same cat. The FBI report says that they saw the videos, all the videos they got, all the stuff they confiscated, the people saying shit. The same dudes who work for right way security that's running from the party, that's running to their cars or going to play like that, who work for right way security. When right goes wrong, when right goes wrong, was at the party. Okay, they want to make a little money. They good. That was another, A. Payne 75, that was another one of his lies. It didn't happen like that. Just out here lying, man. Sitting up talking about, yo, I put the gun out on gutter, and I said, yo, don't raise that gun. Don't raise, man, let me tell you something about C. Gutter. Don't know him that well, but I know the behavior. Had a lot of C gutters around on the gang unit, on the, on, on, on the special offenders unit, on the caseloads that we worked in in New York City, out the South Bronx. Had a lot of C gutters. 
And if C. Gutter would have seen you raise a gun, that nigga would have let it go. He wasn't playing. C. Gutter's the type of nigga you don't want to see in a dark alley like this. He taking, I'm going back to the loop. Everything on your ass. He remind me of my brother Wink. He he don't give a shit who around, what around. He don't care. Back in the day. So ain't no way C Gutter gonna see you talk about don't raise that gun, don't raise that gun. And he ain't going. He gonna man, come on. He don't care where he at. Nigga did it in front of Hot 97, allegedly, but he went to jail for it, so he must have did it. He ain't playing. In the midst of other gangsters shooting, doing their thing. Don't mean to put your business out there, gutter, but uh, it is what it is. DC Love, thank you, man. It's Big Gene 52. Appreciate the cash app. Yeah, man. I'm just tired of this nigga sitting up here talking when he, when in fact he know. You understand? When in fact he know, yo, that his people made a mistake. His, his, not a mistake. His people use big as a casualty of war. When right goes wrong. When big became a casualty of war. Because his people was out there to get puffed. And through the faith and God, because my man, let me just tell you something, man. When I told, like, if I hadn't took that, that training class two weeks, we wouldn't have ran that light. And it was a flashing red light. I keep telling my folks, it was a flashing red light. Kenny knows. Nobody asked Kenny. Nobody got Kenny up there and said nothing. It's a flashing red light. If we wouldn't have stopped, if we would have stopped, they probably would have killed Puff ass. And I took that class. It said, if you want to know if somebody following you, run three lights or take three rights. And if that same motherfucking car is still behind you, they might be following you. Might be. Nay, I can hear you on my program. Can't wait the damn college open the door so they can go back to school. <clears throat> man, I'm gonna tell you, man. When I when I when when I tell you guys. Who name was on that check and who he said he got it and what he got it for? You'd be like, you're gonna be like, oh shit. Let me put this shit together. Let me put this shit together. Now, it's a lot of half shit out there that's right. 
But when motherfuckers start speaking about numbers, I know they didn't see it. I know they didn't see it. If they didn't see the name on the motherfucker, I know the people who saw it. I know, other than me, another nigga who saw it. And he know I know. He know I know. Shout out to Real Real Podcast Show. The Real World Podcast. That's my dude out there in Detroit. He putting shit together. He doing like a lot of uh, stories, real stories, people, real life stories. And they, they come on this podcast, you know, how they was either railroaded or how they need to be in jail or why they in jail. It, it's some deep shit. Y'all go check it out. 100. I don't want to told them to name it uh, the Real World Podcast. Where history impacts the real life. He did and ran with it. Let me get back to this. Yo, Eric Gonzalez. Left big hanging. He was sitting duck. Who really set up who? Yo, this is what I don't understand. We ran the light. There's no way when I opened the door and was screaming at Kenny like, Kenny, what the fuck is you doing? Back this motherfucker up. The guns are going forward. G Money, Big's driver. You had a red light. Flashing, red light. Bow! You hear that first shot. I told the sequence of the shot. Bow! Bow, 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 bow. Bow! Bow, 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 bow. Bow. Probably like six shots before I'm hit big. At that first, bow! Nigga, you supposed to be gunning it. Bruh. A, 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 a listener put me up on game because I never thought about it. A listener put me on game. What would you do? What would you do? Oh, living... What's that? Legend? That's not le leggings. Leggings? Living leggings? Oh, leggings because it's a woman. Or oh, oh, I can't see. Legend, leggings, L E G I N. Let me show me about my eyes, man. I'm, I'm bad. And I ain't putting them bifocals on, be all up on the shit like this. He says, smash the gas. This nigga put from, hold up, let's help me. You got it in drive. Neutral. Reverse, park, open the door and jump out. Never been questioned about that. But I'm wrong for coming on here letting y'all know what I saw or what went down. What I did see and what I know to be seen, it was a lot of motherfucking cops over there. So it was a hell of a lot of cops did a lot of dirty shit. I'm always gonna try to see uh, this motherfucker Kane gonna get up here and talk about. I wanna let you know that uh, LAPD had nothing to do with. Mom, listen here. If cops work for Compton, LA, and then they work for Death Row too, and they do something, LAPD is still responsible. If I do something under the division of parole name, using a badge and a gun, they not just going to sue me. They going to sue the division of parole because they got way more money than me. The 
Only way they no more no responsible if, in fact, they was retired. And still they somewhat responsible because you still let them have a gun as retirees and the right to carry a gun. Y'all go over there, man. When right goes wrong, he knew the people. Don't he could play like he didn't. He knew every last one of them. Yeah, he knew them. And it wasn't no damn poochie. Poochie ain't walked up on me in no damn blue shoe, no white shirt, no blue bow tie. Elon Point. All right. Can't tell you what the check is for. That'll that'll give that'll give up the whole scheme of it. Maurice Jackson, you're right. The first shot went off. He should have been pushing on the gas. Smashing the car next to him or either going straight. Fuck you, gonna put it in park and watch your car. Well, something my man BK Fame, BK Fame from out there motherfucking uh uh uh, uh um what will be uh, in Red Hook. Now only a Red Hook nigga know this. BK Fame straight up and say, yo, big gene, all niggas ain't war ready. Hmm. He say, Big Gene, everybody ain't war ready. When you out here doing your thing, nigga, you got to be war ready. When you out here doing wrong and know you're doing wrong, you be war ready. Because you'll never know when it's going down. Somebody send me a picture, dude, about to sit down and eat his food and everything in the midst of everybody. Nigga, and two niggas came up and just start blaming on him. I was like, yo. Either he did something real bad and didn't know it or he was sleeping. Because when you know you're wrong and you're doing something out there wrong and somebody be maybe looking for you, then you be war ready every time you step out the house. Judged by 12 and carried by 6. Blue Bullet Gotti. Hey, Deacon's daughter. I need to be on Tasha K too when I finish this book. Give her a chance to read and go through it. Or her people to do it. So she can ask whatever questions she wanna ask. We know Big ain't had no business in LA. And then you get this little dumbass nigga, half a, <laughs> half a brain ass nigga talking about Yo, when you pure at heart and you know you ain't got no problem with nobody, you can go, man, get out. Get the fuck up out of here. What's wrong with you? You fell and bumped your head or something? Are you serious? 
Big was broke and need until his contracts came through, until that ink was on them contract and they cut them checks, he ain't have a motherfucking dime. How you explain selling your publishing for $200,000? When you mess with the when when you know you black as ever, black and ugly as ever, but however, I stay coogee down to the socks. Rings and watches filled with rocks. When you living like that and you got them honeys on you, you got to do what you got to do for money. And he was in L.A. because Puff brought him out there so he could do what he had to do for the money. Buff could have did the same shit in the city, but there was other promises made to other people. Y'all straighten this shit out. Y'all bring them, y'all, I get them out here, y'all straighten it out. Y'all straighten it out. Cause I ain't gonna be a part of that. This nigga leaving my label. He finishes, he did bought all three albums. He leaving my label. I ain't gonna have this beef between the dog pound and bad boy. I am Nola from Cali. Yeah, I know it's been a lot of stories. Yeah, it's gonna stay a lot of stories. With Puff, you know, if he just, if Craig Mack would have sold the Death Row East, come on, with Eric B behind that shit, it's going to be fire. It was going to be fire. Craig Mack was prolific with his, with his wordplay. We know that. Thank you for that super chat. Oh, I've been uh, messing with my, I ain't been paying attention to my people over here in uh, IG and they mad. Don't be mad, IG people. Dre 5000, thank you, sir. They got a whole nother conversation on IG, y'all. CJ the real. Dexter. Nah, he wasn't. Not at all. Alan A. Payne. That's what uh Shane uh, uh Tupac man, he was right there. He said it wasn't Dexter. That's what he said. And I believe Shane, he was right there. Let me go through a couple more of these comments and I'm gonna get back at y'all. All right, both. Thank you, sir. You and Todd and Reggie Roberts. What's good with you, Reg? Now I hear the radio freestyle of that. Tell 
Tim Murphy, a car on nine, STL real dirty. What you do? I'm headed back home in a few. I'm trying to send this other truck to my brother. So I think you better pay for the towing. Louis Bar Barber, he said, hip hop needs more. Yeah. Niggas who was there. I ain't the only one that wasn't was there, bro. I'm just the one that's coming and telling y'all, man. For real. It's a lot of cats there. And I get the crazy looking eye niggas. Niggas who used to fuck with me. Niggas used to make money. Niggas used to be sitting up in the club. Yo, Gene, I get that call. Yo, Gene. Where you at? What's up? Well, I'm down in here. Yo, just make sure I get in my car. I come down to the club. Yo, what up, dude? What's happening? What's happening? Wait outside, like, you know what I'm saying? Walk a nigga to the car, nigga to the car. Nigga, smack with 500. Easy. Plenty of times like that. Niggas be up in shoes. Rendezvous. Yo, just make sure you get to my car. All right? We used to make more money doing that shit, getting niggas to their cars, than the club is paying us. Make sure I'm good in here. Gangsters. Shout out to Chaz always. Somebody just hit me back. Somebody hit me say, yo, Big Gene, I heard that same story you told last about Chaz and uh, uh, what you call was beefing because of Chaz ain't paid nobody. He kept it gangster. Chaz ain't paid nobody for that black gangster shit. He said, I heard the same shit in Queens, but you was the only one that's willing to tell it. Salute. I'm sorry I forgot your name, man, but you know who you are. Appreciate you. You, you, you sent it to my um, that YouTube. Liberty and Hercules. Salute to y'all. Let me see what's going on right here. Yeah, man, you know, like like I tell people, man, my, my channel, I got a select few here. It may not even grow anymore. It may grow when I put the book out. When the, Once the book come out and people start, a lot of questions they can ask about certain things, certain situations and stuff, then the, then the, then the, uh, uh, the channel may grow a little, a little larger about then. But right now I got a steady uh, few, few people and I appreciate y'all tell a friend to tell a friend to come here to watch and everything like that. But man, you know, these cats, they're going to keep on going at me. I don't care. They went after my... They went after my one of my moderators, my manager. <laughs> I was like, yo, I was like, yo, Kay, you gotta watch out. They're coming for you in Canada. <laughs> oh, I told him where you from. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. From that Muslim gangster family. <laughs> my Have your hands cut off. <laughs> Fuck with them. Yeah. Yeah, man. Listen here, man. I, ju I just wanted to let y'all know, man, that, yo, these dudes, they sit up here and always talk conspiracy shit. You know what I'm saying? Be keep it a hundred. Keep it a hundred. You knew every last one of those cops that was there. Because they work for your company. They work for your company. And that whole shit, 
that that killed Big was set up from people behind death row not to kill Big. Not to kill Big, but to get Puff ass. Because they thought Puff had something to do with the Jake shit. And that's what that was about. And then, because people talking crazy, they may have thought Puff had something to do with the motherfucking um, Pac shit. But like I said, if anybody was talking shit about what they was doing to Pac and Shug, go keep it 100. We gonna keep it a motherfucking buck. It was this little nigga right here in the middle that always was talking about what his dudes men would do out there in LA. D Mac. It wasn't motherfucking, and, and, and what you call say, he wasn't built like that to do that. But he would talk all that gangster shit to Puff. And he'd be needing 15 and 20 tickets for his niggas to come to the spot. And Puff going to make sure his people come to the spots. Because it make us look like that we strong and bigger than what we are. But he couldn't make them niggas bust a grape in the wine factory. C-N-P Russell. How about that, dog? That good enough? <laughs> Shout out to CNP Russell. CNP. Kevin Gordon, salute. Be careful out there. Pimp. You got to understand, Keefe D was trying to stay out of jail when he was going to that Caden shit. And anybody would have did that. Nigga, write the script. I ain't got to go to jail. My 45 niggas that behind me ain't got to go to jail. Because, you know, if you in the whole conspiracy shit like that, and one of those 45 niggas out there flip, all y'all still going to jail. But if I give you all this whole thing, come on, man. All the drugs Keefe D sold. In L.A., they say they caught him with all kind of dust and cocaine. He was, Keefe D was said that he was robbed. He was, he, he was with the cartel and shit. He don't get no time. Hmm. Why? I wonder why. Because saying what he said, say the LAPD, a whole lot of money. Say them a whole lot of money. Because Big was worth a whole lot of money. Big was worth about four, five hundred million at that time, at least four hundred million. Anytime you could sign a contract for 60 some million with Capitol Records, anytime that you had clothing lines, anytime that you was doing marketing, they could say his net worth in his lifetime would have been about four, five hundred million. So Keefe D saying what he's saying saved them a lot of money. Oh, but no, nobody wants to believe that. He was telling the God honest truth. If he was telling the truth then, he'd be telling the truth now. Why he changed the whole shit? And they can't do nothing about it. And if it was so truthful, why didn't the DA, the district attorney, you paying Greg Caters to do, you paying him to do a job. You paying him to do a job. Why didn't they take his case, right, and prosecute the people 
based on his case. Oh, because Puff made too much money. Puff ain't make more money than Bill Cosby. He got prosecuted. It's a lot of rich motherfuckers get prosecuted. He ain't have more money than motherfucking uh, Jeffrey Epstein. They get prosecuted. Come on, man. They want y'all to believe. Yeah. You know, they ain't want to, you know, he, he made too much money and they was going to prosecute him. Get the fuck out of here and feed your beans with open toe sandals. Go kick rocks for a living. I might hear that bullshit, man. But yeah, I'm the liar. I'm the, I'm the one that didn't see it. Show the picture. Show the picture. And if I'm wrong, motherfucker, show the picture. Not better yet, let me help you out. Because you a top-notch investigator and everything like that. The cops that said that I pointed out to somebody, the cops who came to see me, nigga, get them on your program. Because they know my lawyer was right there. And they know my lawyer said I ain't pick out nobody. I said they look something like, but it ain't him. Facial fiction ain't strong enough. Oh, where y'all get that picture from? That's the dude right there. Look the motherfuckers in the eye. They scrambling now. Like a two dollar whore in a five dollar, <laughs> five dollar crack house. <laughs> They scrambling now. Oh, we're going to come back in two weeks with a better deposit of that picture. I told the FBI the same story. I told Ms. Wallace's lawyer the same story. He said, if they don't say nothing in deposition, don't even bring it up. Why? This y'all deposition. This y'all deposition. Pete, what up with you, boy? Yeah, I've seen a couple people from Junior Mafia since Big died. One dude go to the gym with me. I was going to the gym. <laughs> this Corona shit, I'm making the gym in my own basement. <laughs> Mark, what's up with you, boy, boy? What's popping with you? Chitter, what's up with you, boy? Nah, Lil C's ain't calling me. He ain't gonna call me. He told me to be quiet. Shut up, Gene. Let me tell his lie. <laughs> he said, he said, Gene, shut up. Why go on Fat Man Scoop and tell his lie? <laughs> See, you already told two or three different stories on three or four different other platforms. What you do is go back and read what you said, man, and change it all together and get the right story, bro. Because the more and more you talk, the dumber you make me look. You'll catch on to that one. I don't care. Eric, Eric Wilson, I don't care if he do or he don't. He got to live with that. Hey, Cole. Yeah, people be talking about, yo, Gene, I'm tired of you shouting out. Man, I'm interacting with people on my program. You on my program. If I miss your name, I'm sorry. You understand? I'm sorry. I don't care if you cash at me or, or, or PayPal me. I, I see it better then. But if you, you ain't got to cash at me and pay it, if I see your name or whatever like that, I might say something. If I got something to say something, if I'm talking to a nigga, I'll be like, yo, man, I'm going to talk about something, man. You know, what's up with Boss Black 13? You know what I'm saying? What up with you, boy, boy? Vlad still dodging yours. You know, he ain't Vlad. Vlad ain't dodging me. But I ain't the type of nigga you can listen to, Vlad. Yo, yo, Boss Black, check it out, man. All this is a game as far as niggas making money on this internet. This is the new hustle. You understand? Some people need this shit. 
You understand? Some people got to come on here every hour, talk this story, tell this story, do this and do that. And then they got a lot of people coming to see them on that. That's fine and good, man. I'm not mad at them. But if they cut this motherfucker off today, if this internet shit or, or, or this YouTube money ain't here today, I paid my dues. Three years of city time, 27 years of state time. Max it all together, that's 30 years of services for the state. I got a pension. I was injured on the job. You understand? That's a social security pension tied to that. I tell niggas all the time, nigga, I pimp the mailman. Motherfucker running today. When they stop running, then I'm going to start worrying. He said, get direct deposit. <laughs> People need this shit like this, man. So they gonna come on here. They gonna say all that shit. They gonna whoop. They whoop. Uh, make they shit seem like it's more than that and more than what it is. And I fuck up out of here, nigga. Everything I talked about, I lived it. Everything I talk about, I lived it. I'm good money. Pictures, all right, nigga. I've been fly for a long time. I worked hard enough. I didn't mind going to this job to that job because I knew I had three girls I was raising. I was raising another nigga motherfucking son and then I had to have it because I want to look good too. So I'm going to this job to that job. Then I'm running home after school making sure they school her because I got those jobs that, listen here, as a parole officer, I made my own time. I only had to be in the office one day out the week. The other time, I'm going to 15, 20 niggas' houses early in the morning. Going to office anytime, type that shit in. Boss, he looking like, yo, you do that report. That shit is already done, boss, because I knew I had to hustle. The right kind of hustle. I had to go to another job. I'd be coming on the weekend. Days off. Doing that shit. Paying secretaries. Yo, here go $20. See these things right here? Put them in my stats. Put my stats in for me. Okay. Doing what I supposed to do. Charles Green, thanks for that cash out, bro. Appreciate you. Doing what I supposed to do. And now... Like a fat rat in a cheese factory. Sitting back. Sitting back. Everybody can't be the boss. Some people got to work for a living. But be your own boss when you're working. Make sure you're stacking you save your money, one day your money will save you. BK fame. <laughs> That's his favorite line. Save money to save you. I bought a dollar. <laughs> Miss Anderson from Lambert. I might know when I seen her. That's probably the lady who was used to be over there uh, for the um, Miss Anderson. I think she was over the uh, what you call that shit? Where the people uh, tell security they over they not over security, but they like the housing things. She probably dealt with my boss. People come on here talking about hey, uh. Now I ain't got no stories in Wolf and North Fork because they never saw Wolf in North Fork. You understand? That's why they couldn't peg Wolf 
as being one of those guys. You know what I'm saying? Because when he moved, he just he, he moved like real gangsters in silence. So when he went down there, none of the uh, uh, dealers who was dealing with Corey and, and L could peg uh, Wolf or pick Wolf. That's how he beat the case down there. Who that? Who? What? What you say? Uh, somebody said I like that. Real quote ever? Shit, what's that? I know shit'll get back at me. Ice, what's up? Hold on. Yo, Gene, why you calling niggas name out? <laughs> Want me call your name out? <laughs> Yo, Mike Tyson is a beast. Roy Jones ain't got a chance. Mike Tyson on top of his game. He ain't smoking. He ain't doing this. He just going to box the greatest ever, man. I got a couple of Buster Ryan stories, but I ain't going to tell them. Because they belong to another guy. As far as I was there, Buster type of dude was gonna knuckle up with one of my one of my boys in the business. It was meeting the knuckle up, like real men do. I'm allergic to seafood, uh, Chris Black. But I got a lot of seafood recipes. For real, bro. All right, man, come on. You telling girls like, yo, shrimp scampi? You want some somebody? You want some shrimp scampi? Come on over. And when you come over, got to have a trench coat on. Something nice under it. I just want you to taste it. If it's all right, if it's good, just, just unbutton the coat. If it ain't, walk out the door. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I got some seafood. Man, I got a I got a lobster mac and cheese recipe. She if she wants that, she better come over naked. <laughs> no, oh I forgot I got ladies on here. Yo, come on, man. Who that? Get me in trouble. What's this nigga name? Come on, man. Crisis black. Crisis Black, come on, man. You get me in trouble like that, man. Ask me about seafood recipe, and I got to start talking like that, man, in front of the ladies. Sorry, ladies. Be forgetting, ladies. I'm sorry. Daz, what's up? Desi 10th Strip 617. Kill him all. What up with you, boy? They be getting me in Trina T, they be getting me in trouble with y'all, man. That's that dudes is, man. Be just throwing up the, you know, they know I'ma say something about that. You know what I'm saying? Since they move me, me soup seafood. It, 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 it smell like this, but it tastes like chicken. They know I'ma say something. And then just get me all in trouble. Uh, who the hell is this Roxy Roxy deal? Seafood isn't supposed to be eaten by the Bible. <sighs> Roxy, change your damn name. <laughs> you ain't no damn deal. Top notch exclusive entertainment. Black Rob is my dude too. He used to call me uncle. I used to try to, you know, shoot knowledge to Rob. Rob was smooth, my boy. He got one of the parole officers pregnant. I mean, I'm in my damn mouth.
Yeah, Chaz is my two little cousin. He's one who told me too. He the one told me that night. You know, I could say it now because Chaz is dead. You know, I no disrespect, but he told me not to sell nobody. But on everything I love, man, my mother them too. Chaz told me, yo, he said, yo, yeah. Chaz was telling me that. Um, there's three people that told me. I already knew what I knew because I knew the niggas in Cali was not gonna let us get away from that shit, man. But Unique told me, Chaz told me, and this dude, I think his name was D, he ran with Jodeci. He told me. Those are the three people that I'm talk, talking about in my book that I'm telling, you know, how they told us about, told me that night, and I'm telling everybody. Fuck out of here, man. Tell them niggas to go kick rocks, man. And come on. Big, Big was a saint. Big was a saint. Big never told me nothing. But Big get on TV, tell the world. Yo. All I think about is somebody trying to kill me. I be waking up paranoid. He needed a real world podcast shirt on. <laughs> Yo, this shit is mean, man. And brought it. Damn, I wish I could afford that. Some Detroit niggas with all that money out there in Detroit. Making it happen. Now, I don't have no Naomi Campbell story. Man, what the fuck I think I'm a. Uh... So I, so I was going to make this strawberry pineapple cream pie today, but I want to tell everybody uh, that, yo, if you want to ask about Big Murder and, and tell them that poochie shit, throw that shit out the way. Reggie, tell about them niggas used to work for you. All those niggas used to work for you. All those niggas were seen there, running from the scene, going to trying to do this, trying to get to their cars and everything like that. To follow us or do whatever, but they caught big at the motherfucking light. Go ahead, tell it, Reg. You talking about everything else? Tell that. You be home soon. You a gangster now? You a gangster? You a gangster now, bro? You know what I'm saying? You went to jail now. You got you 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 got you got your you got your jail shit up now. You did your nine ten months. You never hear me talk about that shit, dog. I was in juvenile, and I'm glad the fuck that I I I made it out and before I got 16 years old and I straightened my life up and I did become an officer after that. And the only reason they probably didn't catch that is because the East Coast never, they never, they, they, you know how you, I think they probably uh, uh, closed filed it or, or, or dead files and stuff like that for so many years. I'm glad they didn't catch it. And I became an officer. And I never, what you call my badge, made other brothers look bad on my badge. Like that dude, the Compton cop said, wasn't the first time. Because you get away with it, it ain't the first time. Some people get caught, and it's their first time. Like, Christina, Andrea, first time making love, and then you get pregnant. Oh, it was my first time. Yeah, okay. That's when you get caught. Yeah, I'm the type of chick he did his nine or ten months or whatever, and nine, eight months or whatever. And, you know, I never want to see niggas lock up. I used to tell dude, it's my job to keep you out of jail. Give you tools. I will sit up there and do to tell you. I'll do their resume for them. That wasn't my job. 
I could have sent him to a counselor and everything like that. But I was so good at it that I knew how to play on the words and play your, you know, you swept, you swept floors in the cafeteria. You're a custodial, you're a technician. <laughs> All right, tunes, tunes. What's up with you, boy? Juan Casta. What up with you? Salute to UK, uh, Cole. Who's this? Now I wasn't there with the E forty crew with Big. Them. You got to realize, man. Big couldn't afford me. It's the truth. Big could not afford me. Anytime I work for Big, it's because Puff put me on. That's the truth, man. You know, I wasn't that dude, man. If I wasn't doing it out of love, nine times out of ten, if you didn't have Puff money, you couldn't afford me. Only person that was like that was Fat Joe. Because Fat Joe pays good. Scott Storch pays good. Diddy pays good. And I did something out of love for Nate Dog. You understand? For my man Jeff. But Nate Dog gave me a little 250. Just holding down for four hours. And then Jeff came back and gave me 250 for the four hours I worked for Nate Dog. But that was his man. My man from Ludacris and everything. Was that good, that good in basketball? Yeah, I was a beast. I was Dennis Rodman with a jump shot. And I know I wasn't, you know, with the hair and the, the uh, praying shit. No, nah, uh-uh. But I did a nigga up, and I had a jump shot. Thanks to Kevin Thigpen, father. Rabu Thigpen. It was in New York. Nate Dog. That shit was funny. I told people that story. Nate Dog is one of the funny yo. I had yo. I don't have fun when I do security. I don't. But Nate Dog, he's a dude that like yo. He will have you dying the whole time. I was like this when I was doing security with Nate Dog. Because I was laughing like a motherfucker. And then we went back to the hotel room, Nate Dolphin. Yo, all you honeys in here, get naked. Because everybody fucking. Girls were starting. Okay, Nate. I was like, Mr. Nate Dog, I don't want to fuck. I just want my 250. I just want to get paid, so I got to be at work at 5 in the morning. <laughs> Yo, rest in peace to Nate Dog, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, he said that, man. Excuse me, ladies. Oh, my God. Yo, I got to get off this, man, because I keep on disrespecting the ladies and stuff like that, man. But ladies, y'all got to understand, it's sisters that be doing that. It ain't Gene fault, because I tell it, right? Ain't my fault that I tell it, right? Hold on, let me see what you said. I don't know, Big didn't like too much of anybody, anything. If you wasn't from Brooklyn or he wasn't made to, yeah. Big didn't like a lot of shit to me. All these niggas like that, yo, Big was like, yo, he used to sit back and talk about people like a dog. And, and, and people don't understand. I was like, yo, I used to rip on him when I'm around him because he used to rip on me. I used to rip on him. Yeah, that's that Puff Man. I used to talk shit like that. I ain't gonna use. You see me? You watching me? I can't tell if you're watching me or not, Big. <laughs> Cause you like this, you <laughs> used to fuck with him like that. But big with you know, bigger type of dude, he'll go at you. He'll be laughing and joking with you and all that shit like that. But I, I, I don't know if he, he didn't like his label mates. I 
Oh, ladies know how other ladies go? Okay, all right. Living is hitting me with that. Thanks for telling me that. That'd that be killing me, man. I just see them girls. I was like, I don't know that. I guess Miss Wallace, all right. I haven't spoken to Miss Wallace. <laughs> no, nah, don't smoke the Don. He ain't like him, bro. Yo, listen here, man. I want y'all to go look what uh, TJ, TK Kirkland said. He said, when he was talking about Zip, he said, I heard. I heard. Zip ain't never had no damn roommate. Zip, Zip may have somebody living with him, but I know Zip. Zip had a mansion out here in Jersey. 75 cars on his property. 75 cars on his property. I know he had property out in California because we was in a, a dice game. Zip lost, I think, $75,000 in cash. Yo, he got on the phone and called a chick. She came out from Cali with, I guess, she, she gave him 25 for the game. She came straight to the hotel. I was like, damn, the, you know, this nigga's serious. So I don't know. I don't know if Zip, what he was, a, got out of jail. They was teenagers. I don't know if Zip having somebody as a roommate. Now, he may have lived with Zip or lived at Zip house because Zip had money. Zip always had money. So when they go talk about that, okay, talk about it. I knew him well. I knew him well. I would have never called that nigga Uncle Unc if it wasn't real. We was on the tour bus through that whole bad boy tour thing. Ishmael, one of Zip's sons. And Zip will come through different cities, fly in, drive in from different cities. After that, he used to hang on, come on our block. All the way up until he got sick. And then even after he got sick. So all that bullshit, that somebody saying, oh, I heard it was, was 50,000. I don't know where you hear that bullshit from. Point blank. It's wrong. It's wrong. That's all I'm saying about that. And then for somebody to say, I heard, and then because it's on Vlad, a nigga say it's supposed to be the Bible, it's the truth, the conspiracy theorists, they can shut up now because it was on Vlad. Come on, man, you sound stupid. Are you serious? Really want to, you really want to fake somebody out, huh? But when you start talking, Start talking about all those cats who worked for you was at that motherfucking museum trying to kill Puff. And why? Because what DJ Quick said, they said they was going to get him. Thank you, Quick. They said they was going to get him.
Hawk Tunes. You need that raw deal merchandise? <laughs> I gave y'all a blessing, man. Go get go get it. Somebody make some shirts, man. Say Democrats X, Republicans X, play your Trump card. And I'm just gonna explain this to y'all because somebody said it on the internet why I said we know Trump's evils. We had four years of Trump evils. And it wasn't that damn bad. Nigga, he's sitting out here fighting against China and them so we can get equal uh, a, a, uh, uh, export, import, exports exchange. He over here fighting. They just signed the Middle East Treaty. Come on, bro. Because you know, he like, motherfucker, I push the buttons. Fuck y'all. He ain't no politician. He a businessman. And he wasn't a great businessman, but he was a good businessman. And he's a better businessman as president as he is doing business on his own shit. You understand? So I don't fuck with his, I don't fuck with politicians like that. You understand? He's a businessman. We hired a fucking businessman. And I didn't vote for him the first time. I ain't lying to you. I didn't vote for him. But I'm telling you this right now. I know Joe Biden's evils. He tried to put black men, black kids, I don't care how old they are. I don't care what kind of God is they had as kids. Hug them. Lock them all up. Or they'll be chasing our grandfathers and our grandkids and our grandmothers and our great grannies and all that. I know Trump's evils. That was. No, I ain't gonna say that. Because the lady's gonna get mad at me. I'm going to keep that quiet. You ain't going to hear about me talking about Trump grabbing pussies. I ain't going to say that. Not on here. And the ladies be like, Gene was talking about Trump grabbing pussies and everything like that. Yeah. So you ain't going to hear that shit from me. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go to the next subject. We know his evils. He ain't have a problem signing that bill for all historical blacks to get federal funding. He ain't have a problem for all black churches and everything like that to get chartered and be and keep the federal uh, uh, taxes in. He ain't have a problem with signing that Prison Reform Act. And he said, I know shit ain't right here in America for the blacks. But he ain't got problems signing shit to try to make it right. Know your evils. Know your fucking evils. I heard Joe Biden say, Answer that liberty, Hercules. No, I'm big ain't gonna lie. I heard Joe Biden say, as soon as I get proof with, everybody gonna get one of them shots. Okay. That way he said. I ain't make him say it. So, I don't agree with everything, but I know that motherfucker evils. I know he ain't going to sell his motherfucker country over to China. I know he ain't going to sell his country over to Russia. Like they're trying to get you to believe.
America will get its fresh shake. And, and let me just say something. Every day they try to blow your head up about, you know, the president got scientists. He got, he got doctors. He got the best intelligent people next to him telling him shit. So when they tell y'all, oh, Trump is saying that shit on his own, nah. He got some other doctors and some other people saying that shit to him. Just as good as the CDC. The CDC is funded by Soros and Bill Gates. Well, they gonna cut me off. I'm gone. They cut me the fuck off. I'm gonna get just like C. Gutter. Gutter! They don't wanna see him. <laughs> y'all, this has been Big Gene from Raw Deal, The Last Big Night. Thank y'all for y'all time, man. Next time niggas start talking that bullshit. Say, yo, my man, them was your people out there. The proof is in the paperwork. Go read the FBI report. This is Big Gene Rodell, last big night cooking in conversation. Yo, I'm going to come back and give y'all something good to eat. You understand? With my Real World Podcast shirt on. And show y'all some of the stuff that Just J uh, got in the workings for y'all. Anyway. Salute. Yeah. If they don't fuck with you, fuck them and feed them beans. Stay chazzed up. You got a problem nipping in the bud. And forever and for always, peace. Man the fuck up.